welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a really simple recipe for you that we teased a little bit at the end of the last episode. Uh, this is the strawberry compote that we showed you at the uh, end of the Pain Pal Do video from last week. Uh, now we are going to be doing this using frozen strawberries. Uh, we live in a place where it's not always easy to get fresh produce in the winter. And uh, I'll show you how we do it with some ingredients first. So uh, we have our strawberries. These are frozen strawberries. Uh, we have some sugar. And we're going to be adding some lemon juice. Now we're going to be doing that right at the very end. So first things first, we're going to add some heat underneath the pot. And let's get our strawberries in there. So first the strawberries go in. Uh, now again, these are strawberries that have been frozen. Um, they because we live in Ontario where uh, there's a lot of fresh fruit, but in the winter it's harder to get uh, local fresh fruit, we're using frozen here. So we're just going to add the strawberries and the sugar and just get that heat going underneath them. So once you start to see a little bit of the melting happening, um, you can start this right from frozen. Uh, as soon as you see some melting happening, we're going to get us everything stirred in so that the sugar can mix with the juices from the strawberries that are definitely going to start coming out right away. And there you go. So we're just getting things going here. Um, we're we're going to lower the heat a bit. It can start pretty high, but as soon as you see that melting starting, we do want to lower it. Uh, we don't want anything to burn, especially since this is a lot of sugar. Um, if it burns, then uh, you'll know it right away. So uh, here you see more of the juices are coming out of those frozen strawberries. And uh, the sugar is bringing out some of the juice, and just the freezing process actually also helps this happen. So we're seeing it uh, really melting now. Right now it's very watery. So what we do want to do is, uh, because there's still large chunks and it's quite watery, we are going to let this reduce more until it gets about to here. Now you see it has reduced quite a lot. We've got it under very low heat. We're just keeping it warm, almost uh, down to a simmer. And you can see it is much, much thicker now. So a lot of that water has evaporated and it is... Uh, Really nice, a lot of the larger pieces of strawberry have broken up as well. Very, very simple, and really that's as far as we have to take it. If you want it thicker, you can leave it on on a very, very low heat for a little bit longer, and it will get a little bit thicker, uh, a little uh, a little saucier. Um, now, we'll also show you uh, in another video how to do um, more of a, uh, a coolie, which is uh, a strained version of this. So now that it's off the heat, we want to add our lemon juice. We don't really want to cook the lemon juice all that much. So uh, while it's starting to cool a little bit and it's getting closer to, uh, to warm instead of hot, that's when we're going to add our lemon juice. Um, we find that the lemon juice gives it this nice little tart kick at the end. Um, we ended up actually adding more than what you see here. And it really adds this really nice tart flavor Otherwise, the, the, the compote does end up tasting almost a little uh, insipid. It's sort of just sweet and not very interesting. So we really do find that the, uh, the lemon juice adds a lot to it. So do feel free to taste at this point. Like I said, you're going to want to wait until it's a little cooler here. So taste it here and uh, adjust the seasoning as you see fit. If you, uh, if you think it needs a little, more lemon, a little bit more lemon juice, then by all means add a little bit more lemon juice. And then, yeah, here we have it uh, on top of our, our nice pain pal do from last week. And really, that's it. It's a really simple recipe. It's very easy to do. You can you do it with fresh fruit as well if you have access to, uh, to really nice, fresh, ripe fruit locally. Um, and it's just lovely. Uh, either way, it works really, really well. Uh, you don't need to add water. It's just the sugar and the fruit. And off you go. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes that you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.